What's going down, Nerd Nation? It's your man, Pro Diggy, and today we have a little bit of a more serious conversation. For those of you that are here for the tips on how to quit smoking and stuff like that, I'll put a link right about here, a little annotation that'll take you to that section of the video, but I do highly recommend you kind of stick around for a few minutes, kind of hear my backstory, my history, when I started smoking, how I quit, all that good stuff. Obviously, I'm here, I quit smoking, and I'm here to share how I did it. Now, of course, this isn't like a guarantee. There's a lot of factors. This is how I quit, and this is how actually my girlfriend quit, my best friend quit, and a lot of people in the world have quit smoking this way. And uh, I'm gonna share that with you a little bit later on, but first I'm gonna get into the history of my smoking past. I'm about to be 35 years old right here in the next couple of months in May. And I started smoking cigarettes around the age of about maybe 15 and a half to 16. I've been smoking about 18, 19 years, and that's a very long time. I've been smoking longer than half of my life. That's really crazy to think about. Round about a year and a half ago or so, my girlfriend and I decided that we were gonna try vaping. Not necessarily quit smoking, and start vaping, but we were going to vape and hopefully cut back on smoking. Well, let me tell you, that failed miserably. I think it lasted maybe a day or two, and right back to smoking we went. That was pretty much the end of that. The end of this past year, 2016, around about maybe like November or even in December, I decided I wanted to quit by the time I was 35. Every seven years, your cells kind of renew themselves and change. I wanted it to be done smoking kind of around the time or right before my, my next metamorphosis, whatever you want to call it. I'm sure there's a technical term for it, I just don't know it. Then on top of that, during the past elections in California, there's actually gonna be a $2 per pack tax added onto what they currently cost now, which is $5 a pack about. Uh, we actually both smoked a pack a day. So you take, say, you know, average 30 days in a month, 30 packs for me, 30 packs for her at $5 a pack, you're looking at about three hundred dollars. It was it was pretty expensive, and then you add the other two dollars per pack tax on top of that. It was going to be really expensive, like approaching like four hundred and something dollars. Hey, you know we got to quit. What we decided to do was we decided that we were going to give vaping a real chance this time. We weren't going to give up so easily and stuff. We were going to actually try and quit smoking and start vaping. It wasn't gonna be like, a, oh, well, you know, we'll cut back on smoking. I mean, this was something that we decided we're gonna really, really give it a shot. I'm happy to say that I have been smoke-free since January 1st. I don't even feel like having a cigarette ever. Take a little toot ski real quick. Oh, that is delicious. How I quit smoking. Now again, this isn't gonna work for everybody. This is just how I did it, how my girlfriend did it, how my best friend did it, and how a lot of people have done it. It's not like a guarantee or anything like that. There's some very specific things that have to take place in order for you to quit smoking. Number one, first and foremost, you have to be ready to quit. You have to be ready. You can't be like, eh, I kinda wanna quit, but at the same time, like you can't be on the fence about it. You have to really be ready and you have to really want it. You have to want to quit. You know what? I'm done with this. It's, it's unhealthy, it smells, it's expensive. You know, whatever it is that, that you don't like about smoking, like you just have to be ready and you have to want it. Second thing, you have to commit to quit. You have to commit yourself. You have to, like every ounce of your being, you have to commit to quitting smoking. No ifs, ands, or buts, maybe a few buts. Big ones! Be ready and want it, and you gotta commit to quit. Get a shirt that says fucking commit to quit. Get up, you look at the shirt, you're like, commit to quit. Next thing, you have to get a good mod or starter kit. When we first started doing this in the beginning of January, I dusted off the old uh, Kanger Tech sub box mini kit that we got and I started using that. Allie just got a little vape pen or whatever. I was doing okay with the uh, the sub box, but she was struggling a lot because she was just using this bullshit pen. I mean, the pen really wouldn't even be for someone that smoked. It would be more for someone that just likes to puff on something a little bit. It just, it just wasn't good. 
put it that way. You have to get a good starter kit, good mod or good tank, or actually we'll be doing reviews on some of these things. They're not that expensive. Starter kits nowadays, you can get them from like 50 to 100 bucks. And when you think about how much money you spend on smoking in, in a week, in a couple of weeks, in a month, that's nothing. This is literally nothing. You can't start off with something that's a piece of shit because you're gonna go right back to smoking because you're not gonna be getting the nicotine that you need. You're not gonna be getting the, uh, the oral fixation of, of bringing something up to your mouth. A lot of you motherfuckers got dirty minds. Get your mind out of the gutter. Get it out of the gutter. We're talking about vaping. We're not talking about what you're thinking about. The next thing you need to do is you need to get a good flavor of juice. First time that we started this whole endeavor, we got two juices that kind of smelled okay or whatever. We thought they would be good and we didn't like them. So that's a problem. You're gonna have to get something that you like. If you don't like it, you're gonna go right back to smoking. Some places they have what's called a juice bar where you can go in, try out a few different juices. They're all zero milligram nicotine. So you could just puff away and you're not gonna get any kind of nicotine high or sickness. You probably wanna switch up flavors. You don't wanna get bored. So I would say maybe get two, three flavors to start off with. They're not that expensive. And again, this is for your health. This is for you know you to quit smoking. There's not really much of a price to put on that you know, when it comes to your health. There's actually a couple of flavors that I would recommend. What I currently have in my tank right now is called Skinny Mint. Basically what it tastes like is Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookies. It's minty, but not too minty. You get a little bit of chocolate in there. I can vape this all day, all week, no problem. This would be a really good flavor for people that smoke menthols. It's not like a menthol cigarette. It's not that strong. It doesn't overpower the, the juice and you still get the chocolate notes and stuff like that in there and it's great. The next flavor that I would recommend also from Euphoria is called R2D2's Oil. I can't remember exactly what's in it. I know it's like a blueberry, raspberry, and a couple of other things. I could vape it all day long, all week long, no problem. So I'll actually leave a, a link in the description to Euphoria Vapor Outlet's website where you can get some juice. If, if you're having a hard time finding a good flavor, I highly recommend both of those flavors. The Skinny Mint is good for anybody, but especially people that, that kind of need that menthol. And then R2D2, if you're into, you know, kind of fruity flavors and stuff like that, it's absolutely delicious. They come in 0, 3, 6, 12, 18, and 24 milligram nicotine. Which actually brings me to my next point. When you start vaping, you're going to need to get the right nicotine level. I was a pack a day smoker, 18, 19 years I was a pack a day smoker. I started with 12 milligram nicotine. I vaped on 12 milligram for about the first week. Then my next bottle that I bought, I got a six milligram bottle. And what I did was I kind of alternated between the two until the 12 was completely gone. And then I stuck with six, so I got another six milligram bottle. And I think I vaped on six milligram maybe like a week and a half. And then I did the same thing where I dropped back down one more level to three. And then I've been on three milligram ever since. And we're going on two months now that I have not had a cigarette. I haven't had a puff off of a cigarette, anything like that for almost two months now. The right nicotine level is, is very important. There's a lot of people out there that are like, oh, you know, I smoke two packs a day and blah, blah, this. I need the, I need the max. What's the, the most nicotine you can put into a bottle? Fill the whole bottle up with nicotine. That's actually a really horrible idea. It's better to start at like 12, which is kind of middle of the road. And if you need to go up, go up. If you can go down, go down. You don't want to start high. If you start higher and, and you could have been lower, now you're just making your nicotine addiction worse. The whole point of this is to kind of try and wean yourself down and either get off nicotine altogether or at least get it really, really low. The other major issue with the amount of nicotine in juice is the more nicotine that's in it, the harsher the throat hit. Nicotine has a really shitty flavor. The more nicotine that's in the juice, it's gonna alter the taste, but also the throat hit is gonna be absolutely horrible. I actually took a hit off of my buddy's, uh, he had a, a mech mod with a, a good dripper on it and stuff like that, but he had 24 milligram juice in there. I took a, a, a pussy hit. Oh my God, my throat was on fire. It tasted like shit. You have to like this in order for it to work. The next thing that also has to do with the, the flavor and the, the nick level, I don't care who you are. I could take a full flavored Marlboro Red, rip the filter right off the motherfucker and just, just pound it. No problem. I go to take a little bullshit hit like this off of a vape. I would have been, I coughed my fucking balls off. My face was red, eyes watering. I thought I was going to die. Smoking and vaping is two totally different things. You are going to cough. You just got to get used to it. When you, the first time you took a hit of a cigarette, didn't you almost die? The first time you take a full hit off of a cigarette and inhale it, man, you start coughing. 
<laughs> need water, your eyes are red and watering, and it's just, it's bad. Same thing's gonna happen when you vape. You just gotta get through it. Take little baby hits. Cough. Suck it up and cough. You'll get used to it, and eventually you'll be able to do shit like this. Not even a tickle. Next tip. When you get a craving to smoke, vape. I don't care if you get a craving every 30 fucking seconds, vape. Just vape until that craving is gone. I guarantee you it'll go away. It happened for me, it happened for my girlfriend, it happened for my best friend, and it's happened for a lot of people that switched from smoking to vaping. Oh man, I really want a cigarette. Nope. Yeah, I still want a cigarette. Nope. All right, I'm not really wanting a cigarette that much, but I kind of still want one. Nope. And eventually, that craving is gonna go away. Make it happen. Don't put cigarettes around you. Don't bring a pack of cigarettes with you. And that brings me to my final tip. You have to be strong and you have to get through the first two, maybe three days. It was a lot easier for me than I thought it was gonna be, but it still wasn't easy. It wasn't like, ah, I'm done. No more cigarettes, no big deal. It's extremely difficult to quit cold turkey. You're gonna be missing out on the nicotine. You're gonna be missing out on the actions. Pulling it out, lighting it, taking a drag, flicking the ash, holding it in your hand, smelling it. All those things are gonna be gone. It's gonna be really, really tough to break those habits, but that's what vaping did for me. It still gave me that oral fixation of being able to take a drag off of something, actually feel like I'm inhaling something, actually feel and see that I'm exhaling something, getting that nicotine that my body needed. Vaping covered all those bases for me. You're probably a lot more likely to be successful if you get yourself a good tank and a good mod as opposed to getting like a pen or something like that. But hey, to each their own, try whatever you want. If you've got the money to spend, try a pen. If that's not working, go get a mod. You know, try a bunch of different things until you find what works. Ask the people at the vape store. A lot of them are very knowledgeable. You can leave comments down below if you want my opinion on what to start out with or what to get. After two days of doing nothing but vaping, didn't have a cigarette. I vaped for two days straight, did not touch a cigarette. On the third day, I took a hit off of a cigarette just to see what it was like. See if I missed it. I was testing myself. And I tell you what, it tasted like shit. It smelled like shit. It didn't feel good. Like nothing about it was satisfying at all. As a matter of fact, it tasted so gross that I immediately grabbed my vape and took a vape to get the taste out of my mouth. If you can get through those first two or three days, I would be very surprised if you go back to smoking. It's all about willpower. It's about how bad you really want to quit. I was done. I didn't want to smoke anymore and I was able to accomplish it. My girlfriend was, my best friend, Rich, you guys know him as Flex. He quit and started vaping as well. It can be done. It's just a matter of if you really want it to happen for you. I'm not saying it's gonna work for everybody. Some people, the patch works. Some people, the nicotine gum works. I didn't wanna do that because I knew for me the biggest thing that I was gonna have the issue with wasn't the nicotine. The biggest thing I was gonna have the issue with was the the act of doing it. I was going to miss the inhale, the exhale, holding the, just, I was gonna miss the physical addiction to it, way more so than the nicotine. And I was correct. I would have definitely had a big problem if I didn't have a vape to vape on. There's also Chantix, some people recommended that. And I was actually planning on doing that before I even thought about vaping. I always like to research things and look into stuff before I do anything. Yeah, it worked for some people. The thing is, is there were some, some other people that had some severe, severe side effects from it. We're talking like, just off the top of my head, there was a couple, the guy, had no history of depression or anxiety or anything like that. He started taking Chantix and I think about a week or so into it, he literally physically tried to take his own life. It really messed him up. There was this other girl that she started taking it and it actually made her have to go into a psych ward. She got real crazy. I think she's doing okay now, but it took a lot of work. We're talking like a year or two years of work to get her back to being a relatively normal level of sanity and that's scary like i mean yeah maybe it would have worked for me without side effects but after seeing that is it really worth risking something so catastrophic when there's other avenues to quit smoking so hopefully this actually was educational for a lot of you guys hopefully it didn't drag on too long i know it's a long video but i had a lot to get off my chest if there's anything that you guys want to know if you have any questions if you want any help post comments down below and i'll gladly try and answer as many of them as i can i will also post the links to euphoria's website along with the names 
of the uh, the two juices that I would highly recommend. So those of you that are ready to get into vaping, you can actually start off with a couple of flavors that hopefully you'll like. I mean, I like them. Uh, most people that have tried them like them quite a bit. And you guys can do it. I know you can. Just be ready and want it and commit to quit. But this has been your man, Pro Diggy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. Get off them stinkies. Get on to vaping. I will catch you guys in the next one.